Hey you guys, I'm Steven. I'm Giselle. And we're the Lover's Passport. We are down in San Diego this weekend. If you're new to our channel, welcome. And if you're a returning subscriber, thanks for joining our adventure family. And this morning we are out here at Garnet Peak in San Diego County, and it is a beautiful morning. We have it all to ourselves, and it is a very nice hike. It is 2.3 miles um, out and back with a 495 feet of elevation gain, according to all trails. We just did it the shorter route. There's also a way to get up here via the PCT. Uh, that's a little bit longer. That's a four mile round trip hike, but since we were doing it for sunrise, we wanted the easiest way up here. But yeah, it was absolutely beautiful. We ran into two other people this morning and they actually said that we made the right choice coming here for sunrise because there's a lot of other packed peaks in the morning on the weekends. Mm. This so is, Yeah, this is probably the best spot if you guys want to come check out a sunrise. The sunrise is directly in front of you. There's these beautiful layers all the way across. There is another peak that is deeper inside San Diego that you can catch really amazing cloud inversions, but it, we just heard it's very crowded. Yeah, it's called Cowles Mountain or Cowles Peak, and then the other ones we were looking at, but we're not gonna get to because we chose this one, is um, Stonewall Peak and Iron Mountain. I've heard Iron Mountain's kinda eh, but like if you have extra time in San Diego, you should definitely check it out still. Um, but I heard Stonewall Peak is pretty cool. So yeah, those are just some options for sunrise. We're gonna cruise back down, make some breakfast, and then head over to the beach. All right, we are headed back from Torrey Pines Deep Beach. He's got the paddleboard on, it's heavy. It is very heavy. But nice day, just playing some spike ball and getting outside. We're gonna go make some lunch and then head up to La Jolla and pick up some donuts too. <laughs> Pines um, glider port. So we are up here. You can see Steven setting up our shot. Um, it's right before sunset, so he's getting our composition all lined up. And we're here. We got our little blankie. We we're just saying how we should have brought a charcuterie board. It's a beautiful spot up here. And some wine. And some wine. Um, we're right above Black's Beach, which is a nude beach. Very so, interesting. So uh, just be aware, you know, there is a nude beach down below if you have young children or. Uh, <laughs> don't like to see that kind of thing. We did see some naked people. But yeah, it's a beautiful area and we've never been here before. Christina's been to the other side of Torrey Pines and you would say this would be better? Yeah, definitely better. Yeah, so come on this side over by the hang, the hang glider area. Um, it's also a lot less busy. There is a rave going on right now. We accidentally across stumbled a rave. across like a During rave COVID. like happening like way over here. But yeah, we're here and we're gonna watch the sunset and hopefully the clouds break through. It's kind of a little bit cloudy, so we're hoping for the best. Sunset Cliffs, uh, it was a little cloudy this morning. There's not too many spots to check out Sunrise here in San Diego, but yesterday we did do Garnet Peak, which was beautiful. And our goal today is gonna be going down to the little Sunset Caves, uh, or the Sunset Cliffs Cave.
Met up here with our buddies Ooh, at Squirrel Must it. Travel. We got Jeremy over there, Christina and Chris already heading out. We're just packing up because the tide is coming in pretty, pretty fast. So we're gonna get out of here before we get stuck. just got home from San Diego. So just to give you a little recap of our day, we did meet up with our friends at Squirrel Must Travel who we just met yesterday to do the Sunset Cliffs hidden sea cave that you can only access at low tide or a negative tide. And you can look what the tide levels are at any sort of like surf line or magic seaweed in order to determine what that tide is. Um, definitely go when it's less than a foot or a negative tide would strongly recommend the negative tide. So like there's this one little area where you have to climb down these cliffs and definitely wear water shoes. You will get wet up to like probably, we got wet up to like our waist. So it's a little more perilous, a little more planning that you have to do, but it was really epic. We were probably down there for like 30 minutes, 45 minutes, and then we jumped in the water because it's super nice weather. And yeah, it was really, really fun, but make sure to do your research. I'll link some blogs in the description as well that we use to help plan. Yeah, if you go to Sunset Cliffs, there's two different ways you can go down. First way is you walk over, there's like a little cage, there's like a little cage, and that's where most of the surfers jump in. Mm -hmm. If you watch the surfers, you can kind of see where they come up and where they go down, and that gives you a really easy way to go down. The only problem is is you don't have a surfboard if you're going to the Sunset Cliffs, usually, the little sea cave under there. So that's the only hard part. You want to make sure that you go, like Giselle said, with low tide. After that, we ended up driving over to Oceanside Harbor Beach. It was insanely crowded. We couldn't really find parking, so we had to park a little bit of ways. And we kind of found this like boardwalk area where we just set up camp, set up a spike ball, hopped in the water, read, and just chillaxed and had some snacks on the beach. Super nice, chill kind of day. And then after that, we head back over to the car and then we drove over to our favorite brewery in San Diego, which is Belching Beaver. Yeah, Belching Beaver is fantastic. If you guys are looking for anything in the Southern California, um, area for a brewery that's my favorite brewery 100% so highly recommend checking that out and getting their peanut butter stout on nitro yes that's its favorite one so we got some snacks got some lunch some brew skis and then that was about it and then we drove home and hit some traffic don't leave in the middle of the day wait till the later portion of the day um but it wasn't too bad but yeah, that's basically it for our quick little San Diego adventure vlog. We hope you guys enjoyed watching. If you like these kind of style vlogs, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and hit that like and subscribe button for future content like this. And we'll see you guys in the next adventure.